otolaryngologist or an ENT doctor uh, does anything basically from here up. Uh, any problems of the ears, the nose, and the throat in, uh, in, uh, in detail, uh, except the brain and the eyeballs. Uh, so whether it be a skin condition, whether it be something wrong uh, with something inside your mouth, your ears, your sinuses, uh, nose, throat, swallowing, uh, voice, um, and uh, can manage them medically and surgically. You know, ENT is a great field that, that, that I chose uh, many, many years ago because uh, I love the opportunity to diagnose many things that people have that are, some may consider uh, general or primary care problems, but not only can we treat them medically, if something requires a surgical intervention, mm -hmm. we can do, offer them that as well. So we're kind of a mix between a, a heavy duty surgeon and a medical doctor and put them in one and anything from the shoulders up, we can, we can handle that. We see lots of chronic ear problems, uh, such as uh, chronic otitis media, um, uh, swimmer's ear, also called uh, otitis externa. Uh, we also deal with chronic tonsil problems, uh, big adenoids, uh, and something else we deal with on a regular basis uh, are problems swallowing uh, and voice problems. In addition, um, we do deal with lots of nasal problems, including nasal obstruction, allergies, uh, and sinus problems. very, very lucky to have lots of tools and instruments at our disposal. This is an otoscope that you turn on and you put a little speculum on the end where we're looking at people's ears and noses. That helps us quite a bit. And we do have other equipment such as microscopes and, and endoscopes that do help us. Uh, this is a nasal endoscope, which is a rigid rod that sends a fiber optic light up through here. And we look through, the, look through this uh, port right here. We put it in the nose about this far and it brings us right into a patient's nose. Um, looking with just the flashlight, you can only see about the front third of a nose, and this allows us to look for polyps, swellings, cysts, uh, uh, to make sure that, that nothing else is awry in the nose, such as a crooked septum or something else. Uh, it doesn't hurt. I've done it to my 10-year-old son, and he did just fine. Uh, something else that we, that we use for uh, things farther back in the throat is this, this flexible scope. This is called a flexible laryngoscope. It's nice and soft, doesn't hurt. And we numb people's noses up a little bit, and we can put it right in your nose. And if I can just demonstrate here on this uh, schematic here, we put it right in the nose, right through here. And then we can take a look in the back of the throat like this, and look right back to the back of the tongue, back of the voice box. And I have this view right here, right of your vocal cords and the top of your esophagus, to hopefully see any type of pathology or any other big problems that may be related to that. It's all done right here in the office. You go home very, very low risk of complications and, and you don't have to go to the operating room and you get answers right here in the office.